Hi guys, this is Fraser from Leftco Hydraulics, and today we got a video on a TB motor. The customer says the shaft seal is leaking. There could be a few reasons for a leaky shaft seal, none of them good, but upon first inspection, we couldn't figure out what was causing it. So let's see if we can find out what caused this leaky shaft seal. It's, it's a TB0130 motor. You don't see anything? Not really. Even, consistent, all the way around. Yeah. External seal, it feels nice, like new. I'm not really seeing anything wrong. That plane was a blue shaft seal. The shaft seals look good. An external seal for the shaft here. Yeah. There's also an inner seal. One that's in there. And yeah, with the flashlight you can There's nothing. Can't, can't see anything wrong with it. Can't feel anything wrong with it. Right there. There's a seam on the bushing. You can feel that really good. That's obvious. There's a seam on the bushing. Yep. They're all like that. So if you can feel that, you should be able to feel if the seal blew up. I'm guessing it. Like, okay. I don't see anything wrong. I'm gonna get a second opinion on it, but I really I don't see anything wrong. Okay. It looks like it's a new motor. There's nothing on the thrust bearing showing any contamination. I don't see any scratches here or here. There's no shiny spots or anything on this. I don't feel anything on the inner seal. Looks like there's a piece of in there. Right there. If they had some kind of crap go through, you did see it, right? I'm not losing yeah. my mind. Okay. It looks like contamination got into it. Like I felt something there. If a little piece of dirt or a fiber of some sort got up across here. It would create a bridge where the oil could just leak out of. It, it might not be strong enough to damage the seal or tear it up, but you could see the leak, right? But I don't feel any damage on it. I would suggest putting it back together, not changing the seal, not changing anything, putting it back together and running it, getting it warm and see what happens. How long have we been running it? Uh, just a few minutes. 10 gallons a minute and 1,000 PSI. Just, just start of a test. Test it at a low pressure before we go too high. Yeah. And how long would we run it for? I just gonna do it for a minute or two, then I'm gonna find out how high they actually want me to run it to. Got it. So we have it set at 20 gallons a minute. We're testing it at exactly 3,000 PSI. We're just giving it a minute or two just to see if that shot still leaks. We're now checking in the opposite rotation. Same pressure, same flow. that it? No shaft seal leak. So there we have it. The problem was contamination. One of the most common problems with hydraulic systems. I would say 80 to 90% of all hydraulic problems with their components are related to dirty oil. Often when you have this type of contamination, it can be very destructive, particularly in gear type motors and pumps. They do not handle contamination very well. But in this case, the motor is perfectly fine. It just needs a new shaft seal. If you want to see how a low-speed high torque generates such great torque, there's a video on our channel. Check it out. If you like this content and want to see more, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts.